Hello, I am uh, Dr. Ioannis Gumas. I'm the Chief of Urology at the Beato Matteo Institute, Vigevano, Italy. I will present a case of flexible ureteroscopy using the Innovex medical devices, more specifically the digital flexible scope and the flexible and navigable ureteral sheath with suction, known as FANS, to treat a renal stone. The case will be presented in three separate videos. The first video will cover the devices and basic concepts of flexible uteroscopy with FANS. The second video will detail the technique of ureteral access and the placement of the FANS access sheath. The third video will demonstrate the nephroscopy, lithotripsy and suction with evacuation of the fragments. Let's proceed. These are the essential devices for a flexible uteroscopy. They include the flexible scope, guide wires, fans, access sheath, and baskets. Regarding the guide wires, two types are used, a safety guide wire and a working guide wire. The safety guide wire is a 0 0.035 hybrid guide wire with a nitinol core and a hydrophilic floppy back head and a PTFA body. The hydrophilic head also is passage through narrow tracts. The nitinol core provides safe memory and the PTFE body prevents slipping, making it an ideal safety guide wire. The working guide wire is a 035 hydrophilic nitinol stiff guide wire. It is resistant to kinking and deformation, allowing passage through angulated or narrow tracts. The ureteral axis sheath is a flexible and navigable sheath. There are three inner diameters available, 10 friends, 11 friends, and 12 friends, with a length of 40 cm or 50 cm. The sheath and dilator are equipped with a hydrophilic coating to ease insertion, and the proximal end features an ergonomic handle to enhance the handling of the sheath. This kind of sheath has a flexible tip, to be able to navigate and be flexible inside the renal cavities. They also feature a negative pressure design. This is proximal end has a Y shape with the lateral part connected to a suction tube and a lever for controlling suction intensity. The flexible ureteroscope is a 8.7 France digital single use scope that is connected to a video processor. The chip on the tip is a CMOS with a resolution of 160K. The scope has a 270 degrees dual deflection, a straight working channel of 1.2 millimeters with an adjustable seal and a separate irrigation port. The scope is inserted into the access sheath. During the deflection of the ureteroscope, the flexible teeth of the sheath bends without resistance. This allows navigation and access to every calyx of the renal cavities. A key part of FANS is the system that provides additional control over aspiration and facilitates the collection of stone lithotripsy fragments. A lever facilitates the regulation of aspiration either by reducing, enhancing, or abstracting it. There are two connection points. One connects the lever component to the access sheath, and the other links it to the suction system in the operating room. To dislocate or remove bigger fragments, we can also use the stone retrieval devices, known as baskets, 
there are two types of baskets. One type is the 1.9 French stippless nitinol basket. And the other type is a 1.9 French stippless three wire open end nitinol basket. Let's explore now the basics of flexible ureteroscopy with fans. The fans axis is inserted inside the renal cavities. We insert the ureteroscope and navigate the renal cavities to find the stone. After identifying the stone, the fans is advanced over the scope to make contact. The tip of the scope is slightly retracted inside the sheath, and this step is crucial as it allows suction to remove fragments due to the pressure difference and the turbulence from the irrigation. The laser fiber is inserted and lithotropy is carried out. The scope step remains always within the sheath and continuous irrigation and aspirations are used. This method removes all small fragments and dust. The key point of flexible ureteroscopy with fans is the balance between irrigation and suction. If the irrigation exceeds the suction, the pressure inside the renal cavities increases excessively. Excessive suction creates negative pressure collapsing the renal cavities. The objective is to establish a pressure balance between irrigation and suction to ensure the effective removal of fragments without causing excessive increases in pressure or the collapse of cavities. To achieve this, it is necessary to understand how to manage both irrigation and suction. Irrigation employs gravity bags filled with saline solution and to increase the flow, a manual pump can be used by the assistant. Here is the process for controlling the suction. The axis sheath connects via tube to the canister used for retrieving fragments. The canister then connects to the operating room's aspiration system. Three main mechanisms control the suction. The first mechanism is the lever at the end of the axis sheath, which can be adjusted easily to regulate the suction force. The second mechanism is the lever on the canister, which can be manipulated to increase or decrease the suction. The third mechanism is the aspiration system of the operating room. It is advisable to set the suction of the operating room at the beginning of the procedure and manage the lever of the axis sheath or of the canister to control the suction during the operation. The largest stone fragments must be extracted by withdrawing the scope. It is crucial to apply forced irrigation to create turbulence and pressure differentiation, which will facilitate the dragging of the fragments. If the irrigation is weak, the fragments will not follow the scope and will remain within the sheath. The fragments proceed along the scope until they reach the end of the sheath, where they will be drained into the canister. 